No? Yes. Okay. Hello, BookTube. Um, I got tagged by the Spinebreakers to do The Honest Booktuber Tag by Harriet Rosie. Um, and I'll put all that stuff down there. So let's get cracking. Have you ever lied about reading a book? Um, no. But I watched Harriet Rosie's um, video of this. And she said that she had read Jane Eyre when she was a teenager. But she didn't realize that it was like a for teens version. And then that got me thinking, and like, when I was a kid, I had read a ton of, um, like, kids' version books or teen version books, like, um, Frankenstein and Jekyll and Hyde, and, um, like, what's another one? The Time Machine and stuff like that, um. And I had always thought that I had read those um, until I was in, like, my 20s or something and then reread them. Um, but what, as far as BookTube goes, what this makes me think of is when I read a book a really long time ago. And, like, I'll talk to Zoe about it. And... Um, She'll start talking about it, and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And it's because, like, I read it, but, like, I only remember little tiny things from it. And, um, or I'll watch a video of someone talking about a book that I'm pretty sure I read, and um, they get into detail, and I'm like, what fucking book are they talking about? But it's just, I haven't read it in so long that, like, I can't remember um, so a lot of those books I've been rereading over the last couple of years, um, when I come across a book that I know I read, but I can't remember anything about it. Um, number two, have you ever avoided a book because of controversy around the content or the author? Um, no. Um, usually when there's stuff like that, I get excited and I go and read the book. Um, unless it's a book that <clears throat> I was never going to read in the first place. Like, there's a lot of, um, books that have come out recently where people are like, um, oh, you can't read this book because this guy said this, or this chick did this, or blah, 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 blah. And... I'm like kind of on board. I'm like, yeah, I would. I don't want to read that book, but I never would have read that book in the first place. So blaming it on the controversy surrounding it um, probably isn't accurate. Um, have you ever been sent a book for free and not disclosed it? No. Usually when I get a book for free, I get really excited, and um, I can't wait to tell you about it. Um. Have you ever bought a book with no intention of reading it? Yes. But it's usually because it's like the fourth or fifth copy of I, the Jury by Mickey Spillane or um, uh, Warlord of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs or um, like Fear and Loathing by Hunter S. Thompson. <clears throat> I have multiple copies of books that I like because I kind of, there's a part of me that wants to kind of collect the publication history. Um, and then there's another part of me that like digs certain covers more than others. But then if it's a series book, then I feel like I have to get all the books in the series. So it's like books that I've already read, but, um, I'll just keep buying covers like little paperbacks for the covers. Um, number five, have you ever got caught up in booktube drama? I think so, but um, I don't care enough 
to have it last more than a day. So, um, yes, I have. And it's usually by my own doing because I get pissed off and I want to, like, throw my two cents in. Um, but then by the next day, I don't really give a shit anymore. So, um, have you ever had a hate comment? Did you respond? I've had a couple. I, I really would have thought I would have had more. Um, don't really want more, but I would have thought I would have had more. Um, one time I did try to talk to, and actually more than once I've commented and tried to talk to the person. And usually that takes like the wind out of their sails pretty quick. If you're just talking, um, like a normal person, like just being like a nice dude, you know, whatever. Um, and that usually deflates the whole situation. Um, but there was one time when I did talk to, I was responding back and I couldn't tell, like, I realized that you can't tell tone in a comment. So I was like reading the comment over and over again. And I'm like, is this a shit comment? Like, are they trying to be mean? And so I would like say it in a mean voice and I'm like, Oh, that sounds awful. But then I would say it in like a playful voice and it sounds playful probably because of my voice, but it got to the point where like, I got so confused by if this person was giving me shit or not that I just stopped. And then the last time I got like a hate comment, um, I just didn't say anything and I blocked the person and, um, that was the end of it. And that was very, um, uneventful. It just, the whole thing stopped. So that was kind of neat. So I don't know what is the better way, um, to be honest. Have you ever made a video just because you knew it would get views? No, I've made videos that after I made them, the only reason why I left them up was because they were getting views. Um, but yeah, like, I wish, I almost wish I was a better booktuber in the sense that I kept track and watched how my views go. Because I, I don't do that, and I think if I would do that I would know what you guys all want to watch like um, maybe I should do that just go through and see what videos have more views than others and maybe uh, you guys would like what I put up more I guess um, number eight if you could go back to the beginning of your channel I thought a bird crapped on me, but it was a piece of branch. If you could go back to the beginning of your channel, would you do anything differently? I don't think so. I think, if anything... Um... No. Maybe... But this, this doesn't have anything really to do with my channel. It has stuff to do with me, like... When I would do a TBR, I would kind of stick to it. So, um, if you guys hear, oh, he's going to read Pet Cemetery by Stephen King or something like that. And you might be interested to see what I think about it. And then I just never talk about it again. Because at the end of the day, I was like, fuck, I really don't want to read this. So, I'm not going to. So, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. <sighs> um, are there any channels you wish you could be more like? Um, maybe, but I don't think they're booktube channels. I think they're, they are, um, channels, because I watch all sorts of stuff. I watch, I watch a ton of booktube. I watch, um, wrestling news. I watch... Um, video game news, I watch, uh, skateboarding videos, 
um, in a, a ton of like homesteading and um, like bushcraft kind of stuff. And it would be neat if I could take elements of those that I think work well on those and kind of integrate them onto booktube so like that video me and zoe did where we did a book tag but it was a um a versus challenge like that came from watching other kinds of um, youtube content and trying to make a um a, a different type of video um and then number 10, what is something you love about your channel? Just being able to um, have an outlet to talk about books that I've never really been able to talk to anybody about because um, I've always had kind of a, like, like my friends have never really read the same kind of stuff as I do. So I've never really been able to chat about um, a lot of stuff. So having this and even just doing the video is um, like a good outlet for me. And then when people do comment and have conversations with me um, about it, that's like a huge bonus. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty cool tag. Um, Right off the bat, I'm going to tag Steve and Mark. Um, and then I was thinking about it. And the booktubers that I watch, I'm pretty sure 90% of them do not watch my channel. So I'm not going to bother tagging them. <clears throat> um, and then there's other booktubers. And I don't want to call you out and make you feel like you have to do this. But there's other booktubers who... Um, Zoe and I both watch that um, have a bit of a smaller channel, let's say, and some of this stuff might, um, you might feel like you can't answer these questions um, because of the size of your channel or something like that, which is silly, um, so don't feel that way, but I'm not going to call you out because I called somebody out the other day and then I got a message saying, <laughs> what was it? Um, I'm only doing this because I feel like I have to because you called me out. So I don't want to put any um, pressure on anybody to do a tag. But if you're watching this and you would like to do this, I would love to watch what you come up with. So um, please do. I'll leave the questions and um, Harriet's channel um, and the Spine Breakers down below. Um, and there you go. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.